Now let's break up the barrel with a little bit of detail on the side. So, you know, we have these kind of long open areas and let's kind of break this up and, and add a little bit more of a, a design to it and also just a little bit of detail uh, to make it look a little bit more complex. So for this, we're going to extract geometry from an existing piece and just use it to kind of create a layered effect. So we want to define where the edge of this uh, layered piece uh, is going to be. So let's use our insert edge loop tool, which we've used a lot to this point. And I'm just going to drag a line maybe, well, maybe right in here or so. I want it to be fairly substantial. So maybe something like that. I'm thinking about this on the on the side here. And then we'll select the polygons that we want to use. So we'll select all these going up all the way over just right up to the corner, I think. And actually, let's deselect that top one. So just go up to the side there. And then we'll do the same thing here. We'll kind of come around the bottom and then come down to that point. So we just have those polygons there. So we want to create a new piece of geometry based on these polygons. So we don't want to extract them because again that'll make a hole and just pull them out of this existing piece. We just want to duplicate them. So we'll go to Edit Mesh, Duplicate Face. Now as we do this we can, it allows us to kind of pull it off of the surface a little bit if we want to. So we can kind of give ourselves a little bit of, of thickness to it. You can do it at this point or you can extrude it out later on to get the thickness. Either way will work. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll just leave it where it is. Let's delete our history. I can select both of those pieces here. I can delete this history and we'll go into our outliner. And you can see it's still within this one node here, so let's drop these both out. Now we have sep a separate piece. So if we haven't, if we didn't pull it out using duplicate, let's go ahead now and extrude it out. I just add a little bit of thickness to it. I don't want it to really extend too far past there. Let's go ahead and add a couple of divisions to kind of tighten it up. So that's in lieu of adding uh, edge loops with our insert edge loop tool. We can go ahead and use the divisions there. Now this is going to be rounded in certain areas and so we want to kind of tighten it up here. And let's actually, let me wait a second. I, I want to add a little bit of detail in here to kind of break this up even further. So before we add those edge loops, let's use our multiple edge loops and let's add two right in the middle here. And then let's take this face and let's extrude that out. So we'll go ahead, add a little bit of thickness to it, change the offset a little bit, kind of bring this into that seam there. Okay, if you want to kind of bring this forward a little so it's nice and even, you can do that. And even coming in from the side, you get it kind of a better idea of how you can sort of line that up. And now when we come in and, and add our edge loop, and just reset that, kind of add our edge loop right in there, then we'll get this sort of rounded off piece right on the side. But you can see that gives us that nice kind of layered effect. If you want to kind of harden this up a little bit, you're going to be using, again, your edge loop. So we could come in here and kind of tighten this up a little bit, going back to the back. Now because we extruded it, there's a face back here, which you can see if I hit one on the keyboard, you can see where it's now created those uh, faces coming back and up. We don't need any of those because it's penetrating in, so we can go ahead and just delete all those backwards facing polygon faces. Go back in here, and now it'll kind of extend straight back. All right, and if you wanted to add, you know, other bits of detail going this way or going that way, you can do that too, but 
the reason why I like to have that on there or something like that is just that it kind of breaks up these wide open longer spaces and gives you the sense of that there's a little bit more going on, a little bit more detail. Um, you can go ahead and mirror this over to the other side if you want to. Simple way just to group, control G, control D, and then scale it over to the other side. And that gives you one on that side. Okay, let's continue this process of kind of um, detailing this barrel as we start to add some ramps on the side. And, oh, and I wanted to, to, to note this is the connector for the tube that remember I talked about it being too long. Well, it actually will stick up through there if it is too long. So I've already fixed one of them. To, to fix this, I've just selected it. I'm going to go ahead and select the faces on top, delete those, and then I just grab those points. I'll just move them right down under that top surface. It doesn't affect this at all. All right. So let's go ahead in the next lesson. We'll start to add some kind of smooth ramp kind of a look on the side of the barrel and then even on the top here to add a little bit more of a designed kind of a look. So we'll go ahead and do that next.